What's up everybody, Brandon Polinick here. We just got done fishing on the water. I'm gonna give you guys a little run through, a few tips of what I like to do every time before we travel down the road. Give you guys a couple tips of just what I do every time I come off the water, leaving the boat ramp. And then a few things to check um, if you're gonna make long travel trips, you know, things that I don't check every single time I go between the boat ramp and home. So number one thing is strapping down the front of your boat. So if your boat, already has something built in to strap it use that attach the safety chain so these ones make it nice and easy attach that down make sure that it's good and tight and you want to make sure that it is as far forward up against that roller as possible that's going to keep a lot of the bounce out of the front of this boat if it gets too far back the front end will want to bounce and it won't be centered and weighted properly on the trailer so make sure it's as far forward as you can get it suck it down tight and you'll be good going down the road. Coming back to the back of the boat, one thing that I always do is also attaching your transom saver and some steering stops. So I will pop my steering stops on, get one side, throw that one to the other side, and I will come around and attach stick my transom saver onto my motor now there's a couple different styles you can go with so you suck that down there add some cushion make sure you've got one that has that good soft rubber something that's going to keep this motor from wanting to bounce too much going down the road and there's two styles there's this style that goes on your trim rams or you can go from your motor straight to your trailer that's what this roller here is for so either one but that's going to protect the transom on the back of your boat going down the roads and a lot of our highways are super rough potholes things like that you want to keep this motor as sturdy as possible from bouncing up and down um, and then that way it's not transferring to the truck and it's going to save the back end of your boat the other thing you want to do is make sure you strap the back of the boat down just like we strapped the front down my skeeter trailer comes with these nice boat buckles you can actually buy these. I think Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's sells these boat buckles. Uh, if not, you can probably get them straight from the company. These already come stock on my trailer, but if not, you can buy them, like I said, or even just a set of ratchet straps. If you have an older boat that doesn't have that and you wanna go as cheap as possible, a set of ratchet straps to keep it down. That way your boat is not bouncing, coming off the back of the trailer when you hit that rough roads. and then. Again, like I said, for the steering stops, I come back to the other side, press my other steering stop on. And what that does is that keeps your motor from wanting to shake back and forth going down the road. If you don't have those, a lot of times it'll get kicked off to the side, one side or the other. Uh, and that can just damage a lot of the bushings, the bearings inside of that. Come down to the other side, attach my other boat buckle, tighten it down, and then this boat actually has a switch for your drain plug so always clean drain and dry your boat going to and from the ramp so this has what's called a flow right switch you open it up drain plug opens up drain the water out that way you're not transferring uh you know grass and other possible invasive species from lake to lake that's for every, that's the what i do every time i leave the boat ramp the other thing I do is if I'm going on long trips, check your tires, make sure you've got good tire pressure, make sure they're fully loaded, and then also make sure you've got a good spare, check your spare, and you'll be good to go. So I do a complete run round. Hope that gives you guys a little bit of tips for next time you're coming off the water, heading back to the house. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, let us know if you guys have any questions.